Well, uh, you know, I love toy business, Sarah. I've been in toy business for 40 years, and Mattel at one time was the iconic foundation of the toy business. And I hate to see it go the way Toys R Us did. I think the way they are uh, functioning right now, they are going to go to, into bankruptcy shortly, within a year or so, because this board, what I call them family and friend boards, they have no idea. One of the board members is uh, Yunnan's teacher, ex-teacher. They have nobody from toy business on that board, except one guy who ran a company called Top Toys in Denmark, and Top Toys went into uh, complete liqu liquidation. They didn't even make it to Chapter 11. So they have no idea about the toy business. And I think if we combine the two companies, the value of the sh uh, stock and the shareholders' value will go up tremendously. But they rejected Isaac, my very fair offer. What, what, what's the main thing you'd do uh, on day one if you were able to take them over that would, would confidently turn them around, in your view? Okay, the first thing I would do is fire the whole board and the management board, which is there. They are frankly useless. None of them, uh, they, and they get paid huge, huge, huge salaries. And if I was on the other side, I would not hire any of these people. So I would do that. They have great designers, and I would focus on new product, new designs to get product out in the market because they have a great infrastructure worldwide. And th what they lack right now is toys, real toys. They want to be in the movie business uh, I think in business, you've got to pick a lane. Either you are in movie business or toy business. Well, I mean, I think that in the company's defense, they have this new CEO on, you know, and he just came in, in last April. And we have seen three consecutive quarters of better numbers, improving profitability metrics, operating income, EBITDA. Yes, they're in the middle of a multi-year turnaround, and it hasn't been great. But there has been improvement, and analysts are picking up on that point. There's also some appreciation on Wall Street for the asset light model of taking these very strong franchises like a Barbie and a Hot Wheels and turning them into movies. Okay, well, Sarah, a couple of things. First of all, Yunnan, I have never met him. Uh, he never took my call, but which is crazy. <laughs> I won't bite. But I have known of him, and his biggest claim to fame was when he sold the maker studio to Disney, which Disney rode off in about nine months right after that. When you look at the numbers, they're relevant. They lost $500 million in sales. Their op operation expense is 42%, staggering 42% a year. And I think when you look at the numbers that you just mentioned, there's a lot of fuzzy accounting going on, channel staff, uh, st uh, stuffing, et cetera. And when you look at Barbie, according to MPD, Barbie is now, which was up for so many years, as of last week, they were down over 6%. Um, so, Isaac, uh, it, if, yeah. sorry, finish your answer, go for it. So, and then you look at uh, the brands that they have, look at American Girl, which they paid $730 million or more for it, and it was rising, and where is American Girl now? They, this management destroyed that brand. That brand, American Girl, if they offer it to me, I will not offer $10 million to buy it. They absolutely uh, destroyed that brand. Isaac, if uh, there is so much upside, uh, if this was managed correctly in your eyes, why not just make them an offer they can't refuse? Why don't you up your bid? What would be the price you're, you're willing to go to? Well, I think the Mattel stock, frankly, and I'm being generous, is not worth more than $6 a share right now. And because that's the value of Barbie and Hot Wheels and Fisher Price, frankly. And I don't think they will accept that. They don't want this management and board is hostile to me and MGA. So I don't think they will, uh, they will accept any reasonable offer. So we, I got to look at other ways if I want to do this. I mean, on the Barbie point, this was a brand that a few years ago was really, people were, were calling the death of Barbie, and it has turned around. And in fact, Mattel has launched new shapes and new colors and new careers for Barbie to make her more relevant. And 
the numbers have looked so, a lot better than say 10 so years ago. Right, because they, they because there is no fashion doll in the market right now. But I'm going to show you this product, LOL uh, uh, OMG <laughs> doll, which is a fashion doll coming out from MGA on July 7th. That is going. I promise you, that is going to take a lot of market share from uh, Barbie. They they really they have when you have a monopoly and you do not reinvent and innovate your product. Uh, you're not going to get anywhere. It's, it's not long term.